All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a doozy today. Now, with this whole pandemic thing going on and YouTube now just slapping a little warning sticker below your video, saying that, hey, 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 hey. This person that may be a professional just making a video for everyone to watch on YouTube at any time. We just gotta make sure that you get the facts straight here. Now, come, come over to the CDC website. Like, let's all be honest here. No one's clicking this. YouTube is just slapping this little sticker below any and every video with the virus in the title. Now today we're talking about a woman who thinks that drinking semen will protect you against this whole virus pandemic. I mean like if that's true there's so many stories that probably will never get another disease in their lives. Let's all be honest here. Now. Let's just get right into watching this video, cause you won't believe this woman. She, you would have thought this woman was an actual health expert the way she's presenting this video. Whoa, 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 whoa! Censor, censor that word. God, there may be kids watching this, man. You gotta censor that word. Jeez. Whilst the world is experiencing a stockpiling frenzy of toilet tissue, cleaning products and hand sanitizers with supermarkets and stores selling out and online retailers stocking products for as much as £500 for extortionate prices knowing that people are so desperate to get their hands on them, I have found a free and alternative method. That is to stockpile semen. What? Just an FYI. This woman's for real. She, she's actually like legitimately trying to tell you guys. Hey, hey, yo, 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 yo. You don't need all these fancy hand soaps and sanitizers to protect yourself against the virus. All you need is good old mother nature semen. I mean like, it's the natural hand sanitizer. It's the ultimate antibody. That's why you almost never see a p star or just a physically active person in general that is most likely female and or willing to drink their own semen or someone else's ever get sick they're like some of the most naturally healthy people in the world it's like the equivalent of me coughing in your mouth you may think it's disgusting but guess what i am putting my germs into your body now you're immune to my illnesses too i'm assuming that's how her logic is gonna work by the end of this video i'm, I'm just paraphrasing here at this point all right all right all right enough with that and let's see what this woman actually has to say about this. Maybe she might be onto something that none of the medical experts are on. Bro, just imagine if this woman had kids running around the house. You know, they get a little thirsty and they may want some ice in their drink just to cool it down a bit. And imagine them going into the freezer, taking out the ice tray. Kid has no idea what this is. To them, they're just like, dude, this is just ice. Just imagine them going inside that ice tray, <laughs> taking out a few <laughs> cubes of those ices and putting it inside of their drink and just drinking it as that ice melts into their drink. Just think how gross that would be. And how this woman just normally stores it in there. She could easily buy, I don't know, a mini fridge for her room that has a freezer on top or something. Literally could do that, but that's just too much for this woman. She just wants to store it down inside the freezer where the kids could easily get it. But you know what? It's your life. You live it on how close of it as you want to. If you want to potentially risk, you know, serving your kids semen, I mean, like, that's up to you at this point. I mean, like, if you think you got it under control, you got it under control, baby. Like every piece of fresh produce, the sooner you consume it, the better the nutritional and health benefits will be. Consuming semen as close to production as possible is when you are going to get the most benefits from it. She's talking about consuming semen as if this was just like some perishable item that you can naturally find at a grocery store. Usually most people that do like to consume their semen, you know. Usually they do it as it's coming out. Like, yo, this thing is being freshly produced in their mouths. They're not waiting a couple of days afterwards. You know, you know what? I, I'll put a little semen ice cube inside of my drink. You know, got to get those extra proteins in today. <laughs> this woman's like legitimately talking about this. Like, this is an actual food that has like a very short lifespan on the shelves that, you know, regular people 
more you know fitness enthusiasts would regularly take like no i think you're in a pretty low minority of people that just stores and saves semen just for the heck of it just for a rainy day however if you are looking to have this at a later time you can store it in the fridge for 24 hours for long-term suitable storage i would recommend freezing semen in ice cube trays the average quantity of semen produced is around a teaspoon at a time so it fits perfectly into an ice cube portion this can be added to cold drinks smoothies if you wish to disguise the taste or even consumed as an ice cube, much like you would an ice lolly. Bro, no, just, just stop, woman, just stop. You're not normalizing this. No one's gonna be going out, going over to their friend's house or going up to the man's like, yo, you know what time it is. Get a few of them boys out here. I need my protein. I want myself a nice little popsicle. <laughs> Made out of your cum. I wonder if she flavors the popsicles that she makes out of whoever's cum she's getting. At this point, I'm pretty sure she just goes to a sperm bank at this point. Like, God, <laughs> this woman is legitimately trying to, like, normalize. It's like, oh, you know, if you just want to have it in ice cubes, there won't be any flavor, no viscosity. You just drop it in. Just that ice cube, you know. You get extra vitamin benefits from it. There's no reason not to do it. Or you could have it as a popsicle. Like, no. No one wants this woman. No one in the world is just like, mmm. Mmm. You know what? I will take you up on your offer of your husband's sperm sickle. When frozen, semen loses its viscosity and texture. It's no longer white and thick, but becomes watery and clear. As long as you have stored it safely, either in the fridge for 24 hours or the freezer thereafter, it is safe for consumption. Seeing as there is no dairy or animal produce in this, this is suitable for vegans. Ah, yes, of course. The main reason why she just needs to find some way of getting some kind of vitamins and proteins inside of her body without harming animals, of course. So she goes to the next best thing. If she can't milk a cow, she'll make a man. Just me, that udder needs a lot of milking. Each portion of semen, a teaspoon at a time, contains over 200 vitamins and minerals, which help to boost the body's natural immune system. It is nature's very own multivitamin for free. Well, I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I ain't like, I ain't just giving this shit up for free. Yo, yo, someone's gonna have to pay me for this, baby. Yo, if you guys are getting health benefits, if you guys are getting health benefits from this, yo, 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 where's my check at, man? I actually had like a good snippet of a song that I most likely can't play because of you know YouTube's trash copyright system. But if you join the Discord or just come into any of your streams and ask me what the song was, I will gladly play it for you. It's also a natural antidepressant, helps to relax you and helps you to sleep better at night. Studies in the Netherlands have also found that mothers who consume semen whilst pregnant have a higher immune system and their babies are healthier. This woman is legitimately telling you to fucking drink semen while you're pregnant. No, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't affect the baby at all. But it's still a weird thing to eat, especially while you're pregnant with another human life. And, you know, all the nutrients you get out of your food is going to go also to the baby. At this point, this woman is trying to market semen like she's Billy Mays. You rub it on the stump of a tree, there you go, you got a fully growing up apple tree again. Whatever tree you want at this point, just just rub some semen up there, say what you want, leave a little sticky note. The tree fairies come down, but bring you a whole new tree at this point. Because God, she's making this sound like a miracle drug, a wonder drug. How have we never known that this thing could fix everything? That this human body fluid could just fix all of life's illnesses. At this point, I think it could just treat autism. Why not at this point? The way she's marketing it. You know what? Vaccine your children. Whenever they become autistic, give them a little bit of semen. They should be good after a week. This is something that we can all stockpile at home. Especially no, you're supposed to be social distancing during this quarantine time. You and your husband should be doing that either way. The way you just leave sperm cubes in the goddamn freezer. You don't need kids. What you really need is Jesus. But that's mainly the end of the video because after this, she actually goes on about how to safely 
do things and how you should be social distancing from others and you know she's taking her time to actually recommend other things other than semen to get vitamins and proteins and all your other daily essential needs out of food from but I want to know where you guys thoughts on this woman and thoughts on drinking semen in general. Would you allow your woman to basically farm you like a cow for your semen? Or are you just like, mm, nah, I'm, I'm kind of good on that friend. Let me know in the comments down below. And if you made it this far in the video, comment down rock hard. I want to see how many of you guys actually made it this far in the video. And I hope you all have a nice night. Nice day also, sweet dreams, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Hope y'all enjoyed your time here.